What's going on, everybody? I would like to tell you a throwback story. The time I met and had lunch with actor, former president of Screen Actors Guild, and supporter of autism. I met Ed Asner back in December of 2012 when he... How I met him, anyway. Um, I used to do acting classes with this actor turned acting coach who did a one TV series with him that only lasted for one season. It was called The Bronx Zoo. Ed Asner, my acting coach, and Michael T. Williamson, a.k.a. Boba, were in that show. And the time that happened in December of 2020, 20, oh, oh my God, uh, 2012, um, he was doing a play called Grace. I never saw the play, but I know the fact that he was in it. Michael Shannon and Paul Rudd. My acting coach, his wife, and a couple other students went to the city to see him and have lunch with him. Um, we also got pictures with him. I got a picture with him, which I you can see on Facebook, Instagram, and even Twitter. Um, Despite playing grouchy and mean roles on occasion, he's really a nice guy. And an interesting fact about him is he's a father and grandfather of a ch child with autism. He is deeply involved with Autism Speaks. And he has his own nonprofit organization called the Family Asner Family Center for people with special needs. When I told him about, I have autism as well. And he said, really? I support, I don't remember what he said after that, but all I know he says, you do, wow. That's interesting. It was years ago, but I don't I remember that part he said, really? And I said, really? Autism. Um, ever since then, um, I did not just like him. Now I like him and respect him because he supports people with autism. I like people who are supportive with other people's disabilities, including autism. And I've seen him in a bunch of stuff like, for example, um, Elf, um, They Call Me Mr. Tibbs. I never saw him in The Mary Tyler Moore Show and Lou Grant. I never seen Up, but I have the movie, but I did not watch it yet, which I gotta watch. Because I heard it's really good, and that's one of his best works. Won an Academy Award for Best Animated Movie. The first movie I saw him in was Elf, where he played Santa Claus. And I even got to see his Walk of Fame when I was in Hollywood back in November. Ever since then, I respect him because of his support of autism. Ed, you do a good thing here. Your son and grandchild will, are very proud of you. And this was a first famous person who has loved ones with autism that I've met. I can name other famous people 
famous actors who have a child with autism, like Joe Spinett. I mean, what am I saying? Not Joe Spinett. Um, different Joe. Joe Mategna of Criminal Minds. Um, David Tomlinson from Mary Poppins. And who else? That's all I could think of on top of my head. But anyway. That, that is my throwback story. I'm, it was a blessing I got to meet him. It, it was a blessing I got a picture with him. It was a blessing I got to have lunch with him. It was also awesome to see his star walk of fame when I was in Hollywood. Have a good day, everybody.